Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, just thought I'd do another little video here. Um, the reason for this video is because when I started doing all this, doing a lot of research, and I guess the biggest thing is with the babies. So if you all have been following along, we've had two clutches already. Uh, we got the one clutch here doing really well. They, they all ate tonight. I do have another clutch in the incubator over here. I believe they're all out of their eggs. So my point of doing this video is, is because I've done the re tried doing research of what do you do with your hatchlings after they've hatched. All the stuff that I've been finding is where, oh, here's your baby. Here's your tub. Here's how you set up your tubs. It's like, well, I already kind of knew all that. Um, but I couldn't find a good video out there on what to actually do with the hatchlings after they hatch, after they've come out of the egg, after they're you pull them out of the incubator. What do you do? So I've kind of put two and two together. I don't know if this is some kind of a secret from all the big breeders, whatever it may be. I don't know if I was looking in the right spot. If I'm wrong, comment. Show me where these videos are because I haven't been able to find them. But like I said, I've taken little bits and pieces of everybody's videos on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, or wherever, and I just couldn't find what I was actually looking for. So hopefully somebody new will see this video and it'll really help them because it would have really helped me. So. Let's, let's do this. So I got my babies in here. They hatched uh, not yesterday. It would have been the day before. And I believe, like I said, I believe they're all out of the eggs. So we're going to pull them out and then we'll go through my process of what I do to put them in the racks, but not separating them out right now. So we'll get into that. So come on over, take a look. So here's the babies. And this was from the pairing from my fire pied male to my lemon blast female, which is the lemon blast is a pastel pinstripe. So Here's my process. Here's how I'm doing it. This is part of the videos that I could not find. So I always talk here to everybody, oh, well, pull them out of the incubator, you wash them and you put them in the tubs. Well, so what I've done is get yourself a little tub, do some lukewarm water, roughly between that 82 to 85 degrees. What I do is I'll take one of each baby out, I'll wash each one, then I have their tub. So from what I've gathered from the little videos, clips of here and there, is you need to keep all the babies together in the same tub until they have their first shed. And after their first shed, then you can separate, separate them out, put them into their individual tubs. So, we're going to start here. So we'll take this little guy here. And with this water here, like I said, it's 85, around between, it's around 85 degrees. It's not super, super warm. But what I did do is I did take a, one tiny drop of Dawn dish soap. So I even do this to my females after they lay their eggs to help just get rid of the smell of the eggs. But anyway, that's for another video. Just let them rinse off get all the egg goo off so we'll put that one in there like so and we'll go to the next one get them to swim around a little bit
Put them in there. So then it helps to rinsing them off because I use vermiculite, right? It's vermiculite, not the not the other one. I'm trying it's to not think. perlite. Not no, this is perlite. Yes, it is perlite, not vermiculite. Not vermiculite. I get the, I always get the two confused, but um, it helps get the perlite off because it does stick to them. Just gotta get them to swim around a little. So and then as I'm doing this, I'm feeling their bellies just to make sure that we don't have any issues with where, their, where the umbilical cord was to the egg. And this, so far, these three look pretty good so far. to explore already, huh? It's kind of, I kind of rub them a little bit. Get back in there. And a lot of times I just let them run through my fingers just to go by feel. See how their bellies feel? They feel pretty good. There you go. Come on. And this is one of the only times that these little babies are gonna be, they feel wet, kind of slimy. Otherwise, once, uh, once they have their first shed, even even before that, they don't really feel slimy. They just feel silky smooth, I guess. So this one had a little, see you can see on the, or the umbilical cord right there, just one little spot, almost healed up, absorbed, whatever you want to call it. I'm trying to pay attention to the video and I've got one trying to crawl out. <clears throat> All right. There's that one. Okay. Two. Two trying to crawl out now. So what's the reason for keeping them all together? I'm not exactly 100% sure what the reason is or why they keep them all together in the beginning, but I believe it has something to do with help keeping more moisture inside the con their container to help with shedding, at least for the first shed anyway. And I guess that's another thing I haven't, I haven't seen if anybody actually separates them right away. I, I'm sure people have, I mean, I don't know if there's anything wrong with it, but from 99% of the videos I've seen, they always keep, they always keep them together until the first shed. This is the last one. So I really hope this helps other people here in the future. Um, like I said, it, I couldn't find anything. So if anybody watching this says, hey, I got one of these out, send me the link. I want to see it and to make sure I'm doing this right. Because like I said, I couldn't find anything. So, so there we go. They're, they are all washed and ready to go. So now what I do is I take a fresh bowl of water. Yes, the bowl is a little big right now, but this is all I have. I got some new ones coming. Um, they're like, uh, what are they, like a two ounce little ramekins. 
and they work great. That's what I have in my hatchling tubs over there right now. Um, they don't tip them over. If they need to cool down, they're I think they're are they made out of a ceramic, so it'll help them cool down. If they need to cool down, they can wrap around whatever. But then I just take I just take my fingers, and I get the paper tall. Just wet the paper tall. There's water. There was water on them when I put them in here. So this just helps keep everything moist. For that first shed? For the first shed, yep. You know, and then you want to watch this over the next probably week or so until they shed to make sure it stays moist in there. Damp. Um, I guess that's this is what I do and I, I don't I, I don't think it's wrong it's not so but that's what I do um, anyway I'm gonna move this to the other end move these guys down a little there we go See, they'll, they'll move around it as much as they need to do. Um, now, basically with this, do whatever you want with it. Compost. Compost works great. The perlite works great in the compost. Um, we, I don't know, do you put the eggs in there? I don't remember. I, I threw them in last time. Did you? Okay, yeah. Cool. They'll, they'll decompose. So anyway, like I don't know if that's right or wrong either. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's all uh, trial and error. We'll find out when, right, I, right. when I stir it up next time. So... Um, yeah, I mean, if anybody's got any comments, you know, maybe a different way to do things. Hey, I'm open to, I don't know what you call it, learning, absolutely learning. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I hope this helps everybody out. I try not to make the video too long. Um, it's only that, 12 minutes. It is not bad, but anyway. Um, check out my Instagram, check out my Facebook. These little ones will be up for sale roughly a month or so. I got these guys that are just about ready to go. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's about all I have to say. So thanks for joining us again. Thanks for uh, watching. Um, Y'all have a good one.